lockdown, etc. Um, mustn't go out, can only go out on your back door fence, you can only go for a stroll if it happens to be at the bottom of your garden. Well, my garden is behind me. So, I must say I've never been more um, grateful to live right on the edge of the National Park. So I'm going for a stroll with crazy hair um, up the hill over there, see where it takes me. Well, I know where it takes me, but see how far I get. Today I'm going to head over that field throughout the path called the Beaches. I'm thinking where I actually need to be is up there somewhere. Which looks a bit energetic. I've decided, being an old man, I think I'll walk around the uh, slightly less precipitous way. Look at all these moguls. Hmm. I'm not going to ski over them. Do you think we've got very enthusiastic moguls in the vicinity? Interesting. Okay, I've made it to the far top corner of the field. Wind's strong again, you won't be able to hear me. Uh, by almost direct route, I did wander around a little bit, finding the best way. I'm up here sitting on a seat, and guess what? Another poetry box. And the view down over Stunning, unfortunately directly into the sun, is quite good. Can I shade the camera? Don't know. That's where I came from down over there. Now there is here, encouragingly, a nice big gate and a stile and a path up the hill. Yes, that's what I was hoping. I can walk up the beaches and see where it takes me. Good. Right then. Shall we go a wide angle? Got a few paths up here, but I'm going to go, I reckon, up that one because that's heading upwards. Good. Oh, 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 what I've spied over there. Wait for it, wait for it. Blue bells. Aha, I've been hoping I could find a local um, bluebell wood. A bit more exploring up here. Hopefully there'll be a few more a bit later in the season. Excellent. Right. It's lovely out here in the woods. However, a bit of a steep hill and I'm still plodding up it. Hmm. What's that? Limbo, do you think? The other day when we were walking the uh, lower horseshoe, I said there's another path where you can really see all the fallen trees from a long time ago. Well, this is it. More on that at some other time. Oops. 
For the moment, look at the countryside down there. Right, onwards and upwards, I reckon I'm nearly at the top. At least I certainly hope so. Ah, oh, look. The end of the woods. Now I think we have to walk along the edge of the woods for a bit. Then it opens out quite a bit. Ah, yeah, that looks quite hard work. Am I looking? Am I looking a bit hot and bothered? I don't know. I'm certainly feeling it. Right. Talk about a cardiovascular workout on a Sunday morning. This, I think, is the way to do it. Um, right. Well, I've been here before. We walk along the edge of this wood for a bit, then we sort of go left up onto the South Downs Way. Lovely breeze up here. social distancing. Aha! Now this is the point where the path turns left and goes up there to a bit wide angle, there we go. Oh, hand. Um, up there to meet the south turns way at the top. Oop, wind. I mean, the weather, not my sight. Yeah, very much don't even hear anything but here is the South Downs Way. The other day, when we came across it, we were way over there somewhere. Much further down, so this time, different part of the South Downs Way heading up over that way. And I must remember that this is where I come back again. come up here and uh, round this corner, there we see, up ahead, just about see it, up there, Jankton Brewery. I think I'll just stroll up to that and then stroll back again. Apologies again for the wind, but here we are. Within a very short distance, well, <laughs> comparatively speaking, of Changton Wing, which is over there, which is where I'm headed. Over there. Quick stroll around that, and that'll be mission accomplished. Changton Ring is one of those Iron Age hill fort jobbies. But since you can't hear me, I'll put a few facts, sort of, somewhere, here. Interesting, isn't it? He says not yet knowing what facts he's going to put on there. to maintain a nice composition of over there. Well, I'll have a look over there in a few minutes. There's a real old gale going up here. Thing. However, the scenery, it's good.
camera setting, which is in the southeast. I'm hoping to have the energy for a bit of gardening when I get back, having uh, walked up this slight hill. I'll look on uh, View Ranger if it's working and see how far I climbed. I climbed 705 feet a couple of days ago, which was quite impressive. This might be even more. Not sure. We shall see. Let's go down here. I'm doing a quick, um, I suppose I could call it a circumambulation of the ring at the moment. In other words, I'm walking around it. Right. Let's go the other way. Here we go. I've been careful to keep an eye on where I'm walking. So it's not to fall flat on my face. I'm using that with the, from your perspective. Let's do it. Shall we do a wide angle? Do that. Oh yeah. Oh yes. A bit more shelter from the Howling Gale on this side, but. Just about to come around to the windy bit again, so you won't be able to hear me. That's where we've been. Fantastic Howling Gale.
actually blows your beard around. Can you see that? Well, right, well, I've been taking my bit of fresh air up here. I think it's time to walk back down again through the teeth. walked down from there the other day whilst um, talking about Bostels. I said there was a Beading Bostel and I thought there was a Whiston Bostel and I reckon actually that this is a Whiston Bostel disappearing down here. However, good part though it is, I don't currently want to end up in Whiston so I'm not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. Now I made a decision not to moan about these this time, so <clears throat> I won't. That goes somewhere interesting, I'm sure. Well, I'm off back down there. towards Worthing, isn't it? Can you see Worthing actually? Can you see it? Just come down there, plunging back down into the woodland. Shelters from the gale, so you can now hear me. I must say, walking up the Chanctuary Ring is a bit of a personal triumph from my point of view. When I first moved to Stenning about 10 years ago, I was a bit slimmer and I could do it. Then I um, got a bit fat and couldn't do it. So I'm pleased that I've now managed it. Here we are, down through the woods, back to the uh, field at the bottom, walking back down to Stone, which is just over there. Can we see the field where I started? Maybe we can. Well, I made it, that was good. I was intending to walk up to Chang to be ring at some, at some point. And back home, a cup of coffee and a spot of gardening. I've come back a slightly different route via the Sussex Downland Orchard up there and behind me there's a nice pond so hopefully I can walk around that 
a little bit, uh, a little bit sticky underfoot here. Hmm. Well, I know where I want to end, where to end up. Let's see if this takes me up there. Try this way. It's all like, look at the blackthorn. <laughs> <laughs> 